chasing, 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 of course, they had the netting. And it came with this wig cap. The hair is very soft and silky. And I was surprised at how long it is. It's longer than I expected. It says 10 inches, but it looks longer. I'm not getting any shedding. And that's how the inside looks, like a regular wig. And as you see, the lace is really not that big. But right now, I'm going to use my Got To Be Spray. And I'm just going to spray the lace. And I'm going to spray the whole inside of the wig to make sure it doesn't pick up the color when I start coloring it. I'm going to use three different colors in the water for this wig. I want it to be a nice neon green. The first color I have is called Funky Yellow. Then I have Limelight. And this is Hunter Green. I'm going to mix all three colors together in this bowl with my little hair whisk. And let's see how it comes out. Excuse the orange, that's just my table. So I filled the container. I didn't fill the container. I put about... Four inches of water in the container. Now I'm just putting the three colors in the bowl. I Most of the color is actually limelight. Because I want to make sure I get that nice neon green. And I put a lot of the funky yellow in it as well. Now I'm just mixing up good. And here it goes. I want to make sure all the water, all the dye is out the bowl into the water. I'm using a big whisk to make sure all of the color is dissolved. I'm adding just a little more of the limelight because I really want it to be that nice greeny neon green as I said. And a little more of the yellow to brighten it up. I did add a little more hunter green in. I wasn't sure if I had enough dye in the water. Now I'm just going to go for it and dip the whole wig in. I put some gloves on to make sure my hands didn't stain. And I'm using this big whisk to try to make sure the wig picks up all of the color. As you can see, it's starting to pick up the color really fast. But I'm just going to swish it around in there some more. I don't really know how long I was, I'm was i supposed to keep it in, but I want it to be that bright green. I said that 500 times, but you know. It's already turning a pretty good green color. And this is how it came out. Beautiful, beautiful green color. So what I'm going to do now is just comb any of the tangles out. And once I dyed it, I did get a little shedding. Oh, my daughter just came in and gave me those beautiful flowers. 
She wanted to brighten up my day. She didn't realize I had that bright ass wig I was about to do. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is try to just pluck the front of the wig a little bit to customize it. And I'm blow drying it to dry it. I really wanted it to air dry, but I was going out that night. So I had to get it dry to get the wig done. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just using my ion heating spray i mean ion spray for when you use heat on your hair and i'm just gonna flat iron it and put a little curl in it look at that color y'all beautiful just how i wanted it Okay, so I'm going ahead and I'm using that cap that came with the wig. It's quite thin. I never saw a wig cap this thin before, but hey, it's an inexpensive wig. What do you expect? Look at those curls. They look so luscious. I really wanted a side part. But the way they made the part was kind of weird. Like, you could see the track, so I, I'm trying to put it to the side. So, right now, I'm going to use my Got to Be spray. And it's only because I am only keeping the wig on. I don't use wig sleep with my wigs on, so it's just for that night. And I'm um, drying it with full air. Now I'm going to just apply the wig. I'm trying to set it in a way so my part can still be on the side a little bit. And I'm just cutting the lace. Like, I haven't dealt with customizing a wig in over two years. And I actually haven't worn a lace front in over a year. So I got to get back into the swing of things. Now, I just want to flatten out the top of the wig and make it nice and smooth, make it less lumpy and bumpy. And um, I also just want a little lift in the front. Flatten this around the back and a little lift in the front. I thought if I tried some of that stiff spray, I would get a better lift. I'm using an electric hot comb. It has no settings on it. It's just one setting. Just plug it in. I don't even remember where I got it from. Now I'm just going to lay down my edges. I have made some baby hairs off camera. And I'm going to just lay down my edges with this wrap it. Hair wrap? Edge wrap? You see, I was making a mess. I pulled the whole thing out the box. I decided to give myself a couple of layers. So I'm just trimming it a little bit so I could get some layers. It was really, really hot that day. That accounts for the frowny face. So I let it lay while I went and got dressed and put the rest of my makeup on. And this is how it's coming out. Trying to style it a little bit. I don't know. I want to go to a hairdresser to get it styled properly because I think the color came out really pretty. 
So I'm just going to put some powder in my part to make it look a little more natural. And throw something behind the ear to make it look a little sexy. And here we are. It's cute. I love it. Let me know how you like it down below.